got a couple of requests that I think I can cover real quick here. So, uh, first one, this guy, um, Bolda, Boldar Kid. Sorry, I can't, I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to break that up and pronounce that. Um, he asked, um, you know, do one on McAllister or Bush, and, uh, you know, I just don't think it's that much of a debate, at least right now. Deuce McAllister, um, entering his seventh year in the league out of Mississippi, and he's put together a fine career for the Saints when he's been healthy, which has been getting progressively rarer and rarer. He puts up monster numbers, usually around a 4.5 yard per carry average. A little more, a little less. <clears throat> Scores quite a few touchdowns. He's been in the double digits in the touchdowns twice. <coughs> Good power back, some speed. Um, he's more likely to run you over than run past you. Um, average receiver. You know, he's a good all-around back that's, um, you know, in 2005 he, of course, had that major injury and got hurt and bounced back in 2006 real nicely with 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, 4.3 yard per carry average. And on the other side you got Reggie Bush, the um, second-year player now out of the University of Southern California. We all know about this guy that's... He gets a lot of attention from the media of sports in general. Uh, quick guy, elusive guy. Um, <clears throat> real good at making guys miss or just running past him. Uh, he, um, he's kind of an interesting player, especially in the way he was used last year. You know, he got his carries, 155. He didn't do so well running the ball, 565 yards and six touchdowns. He was a nice receiver. 88 catches, <clears throat> which is a a lot for a running back. Uh, that's crazy right there. Uh, two touchdowns receiving, and we saw some big play potential, you know, last year from him when, like, his 88-yard touchdown against Chicago, uh, that game he had against the 49ers in the regular season. He's obviously got a lot of talent, but last year he wasn't able to run very well owing to the fact that, well, you know, he was just dancing around a little too much. But, yeah. And, uh, you know, they complement each other so well because, Bu you know, McAllister, he's power. Bush is speed. Bush can catch and go out and play wide receiver, whereas McAllister isn't really capable of doing something like that. Um, you know, one of them is on their way out in the league. I think McAllister's prime is probably past. In fact, it probably would have been in 2005, but he got hurt, so... And, you know, you never re fully recover from in an injury like that, so Deuce is gonna... I think he's gonna miss a 1,000 yards this year. I think Bush is gonna pick up the slack. I think you're gonna see him break out. <coughs> I mean, I like the kid. He's got all the potential in the world, and I definitely think he's gonna be a star in this league, if not a superstar. Um, obviously, right now, McAllister is better. That's... Not really a debate, if I'm being quite honest. I mean, McAllister has done more in this league. He's put up better numbers all around, except for receiving stats, but... That's not as important as running when it comes to being a running back, and, um... Yeah. But, in two years tops, I would say, Bush is going to overtake him, become the main running back for New Orleans... And, um, yeah, that's about it. And I think he'll have a better career than Deuce. I think, you know, a lot of Deuce's career slipped away when he went down with that injury in 05. But, uh, yeah, that's about what I have to say on that subject. <clears throat> Another one, this is an interesting one. Someone asked me, what, who is the best college wide receiver that I have ever seen? Well, you know, I don't watch college as much as I do professional. So... This is kind of a tough question. <clears throat> but it is the best college wide receiver that I have seen. So, that said, you know, there's Randy Moss. I know he had a lot of su success in the pros, but he was just a monster in college. Marshall, hooking up with uh, Chad Pennington. 
Oh man, he was just all over the place. You know, he's got the size and the speed and the moves. Sorry, I'm drinking a squishy. <laughs> You've been to Seven Eleven lately? Check out those Simpson cups they have. Pretty cool. Anyway, you know, he's definitely up there. Calvin Johnson lately, I know this is probably the high of recently having seen him speaking, but CJ brought a lot of the stuff, same stuff to the table that Randy Moss did. So, he, he's a candidate, and he played with Reggie Ball, so that's just more credit to him. Third guy, Braylon Edwards, Michigan. Uh, man, he <coughs> he was beasting all over secondaries before he got drafted to the Browns in 2005. And now, if you ask me, in the 2007 season, he's going to be beasting all over NFL secondaries. But, you know, minus this one time, I remember he got shut down in a relatively important game by Kelvin Hayden. I was a big fan of Braylon Edwards. He could play, so, um, you know, there have been plenty of other great college-wide receivers. Even, you know, since I started watching football in 96, there were plenty that I didn't mention, but those three are the three that I really like. If I had to pick one, I'd go with Randy Moss, because um, he was in the unfortunate position of having to play with a quarterback who did not have an extremely strong arm, Chad Pennington. And, um, in spite of this, he, uh, was able to put up the monster numbers that he did put up. So, um, yeah. That's about all I got to say on that, so I'm out.